the derivation of the ideal gas equation, which is PV is equals to nRT, actually it comes from the combination of the three gas law. Okay, so from the Boyce law, we know that the volume is inversely proportional to the pressure. For the Charles law, volume is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. The Avogadro's law, volume is directly proportional to the number of the moles of the gas present. So, by combining these three gas law, so we have a volume here for each gas law, okay? So, we know that the volume is directly proportional to the number of moles of the gas and temperature and it is inversely proportional to the pressure. From this combination, we will get an equation which is PV is or over nt, right, is equals to constant, right, where the constant that we are going to use in this formula actually is the gas constant, which is R, with a value of 0 0.08206 liter ATM per mole per Kelvin. Rearranging this formula, we will get PV is equals to nRT. So for the ideal gas, we are going to use this formula in our calculation. So let's have a look at example. Okay, so we have a steel tank with a volume 438 liter. It's filled with 0 0.885 kilogram of oxygen gas. Okay, we have oxygen gas here. Calculate the pressure, okay. The question asks you to calculate the pressure of the oxygen gas at 21 degree Celsius. So let's label our information in the question. So we have a volume, okay, and then mass of oxygen gas, right? And also the question asks you to find the pressure of the oxygen gas, okay? And then we have the temperature, okay? So to use this formula, actually we are going to assume that the oxygen gas is an ideal gas. Obviously, because this is an ideal gas equation. From this formula, we are going to find the pressure. Okay, we already have the volume. Okay, so kita dah ada the volume of the gas, dah ada pressure kita nak cari. Okay, and then we uh, know that the R is constant, so dah ada value R. The temperature is also given. So, dari mana kita nak cari the number of moles? So, we have the mass of oxygen gas here. So, from mass of oxygen gas, we can find the number of moles of the oxygen gas by using the conversion factor. Since 1 mole of oxygen contains 32 gram of oxygen, okay, so kita akan buat conversion factor. So, 0.8. 85 kilogram is 885 gram. Okay, so kita akan cancel out the gram and we will get the moles of oxygen gas. Which is 27.66 mole. Okay, so jangan terkejut lah. Dia punya mole ni besar sebab mass dia pun besar. Okay, so one more thing. Okay, the oxygen gas. Okay, oxygen ni dia adalah diatomic molecules. So, dia tak boleh stand alone. So, dia mesti diatomic lah. So, O2 lah bukan O. So, kita dah ada N. So, kita tulis balik the value of R, 0 0.08206 liter ATM mol minus 1, K minus 1. So, mol dah ada. Okay, the pressure yang kita akan dapat dalam ATM. Okay, the volume must be in liter. So, soalan pun memang dalam liter. So, tak perlu tukar. Cuma je, dekat sini the temperature. Okay, so the temperature given is in degree Celsius. So, kita kena convertkan daripada degree Celsius kepada uh, Kelvin. So, we will get 294.15 Kelvin. So, bila kita dah convert everything, okay, barulah we can uh, use this formula. Baru kita boleh substitute all the value into this formula okay so the pressure here kita nak the pressure of the oxygen gas lah okay so we already have the number of mole 27.66 mole okay times with the r 
Okay, the gas constant 0 0.08206. Okay, the temperature in Kelvin 294.15. Okay, so kita bahagikan dengan the volume here. Mesti dalam liter, 438 liter. So, we will get the answer. 1.524 atm. So, kena ingat eh. Kalau kat sini kita nak cari partial pressure of the oxygen gas. The mole kat sini, number of mole kat sini pun mestilah moles of oxygen. 